and ease of use. Um, so why not just keep their signage up there, right? So hi everyone, welcome. Uh, my name is Margaret Miranda and I'm here courtesy of Lawyer's Title. And if you don't have a preferred title company just yet, I encourage you to check out Lawyer's and that is an unbiased opinion <laughs> because I'll tell you that being fairly new to the marketplace and being fairly new to title in general, what I came to realize so much is that so many of the successful agents here in our marketplace really did refer to lawyers title as partners as opposed to just a rep as opposed to just title and escrow services it was more so a partnership as far as building and growing their business whether that be nationally or here as a team locally so if you don't at all have a preferred title company definitely check out lawyers they're fantastic and that's really the reason why i'm here today um, so as a little bit of a backward transition, and I don't mean to stand here and just, of course, talk about lawyers, but really the reason, and Anthony, who is my boss, who's in the back of the class, um, <laughs> who's judging, uh, typing up notes, um, I will say, and you can, he can answer this himself probably, is that the way in which I think they had actually begun to recruit, right, or, or notice myself was the awareness that was caused on social media through videos. Um, how many of us in this room right now are utilizing video in our businesses right now? Awesome. How is that going for you? Is it something in which you have it scheduled? Is it something in which you're, you know, creating engagement? Are you getting more leads from that right now? Ladies first. It's very yeah, it's a very new yeah. uh, process. Yeah. So right now just really getting in front of people and, yeah. and trying to have some comfort level. Absolutely. So are okay. you doing that live? Are you doing that where it's pre recorded and you're editing them? Uh, it's pre recorded and I'm editing. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. And how much time is that taking while you're editing? Oh um, now not very much time at all, you know, by the by the fourth take, it's on. It's on. Oh, <laughs> so good. Instead of like the 20th. But I love that because even as you say the fourth take, what it really does require is the practice, right? I think that so often, and how I even wanted to start this class, what I had thought I wanted to go over was really the tools and how you edit and what you do. But first and foremost is really just doing it, right? The, the, the dive. No, no, no. It says to this. I think that that's all that it really takes initially is just doing it just like with anything you're not gonna be great at it right away right um, and so for yourself did you say you were starting to use video you're wanting to use video that's why you're here today right yes yeah. and so how do you think you're gonna start that are you do you think you're going to kind of go and spend you know a couple dollars here as far as your marketing budget to make videos or are you going to start maybe yes something so. depends on what it is about yeah well i say that even before spending your dollars because i know that as an agent you have fees monthly yearly whatever they may be that are really taking up a lot of your budget and what's amazing is that for me i'll say this flat out I'm a budget-friendly girl. I don't use a ton of tools. Um, what I do have has been purchased on Amazon or you can get it at Target. And here's the thing, as you progress through you know, video production and using them for your brand, what's amazing is that you can absolutely hire a team, right, of videographers. You can, you can do all of that. But in order to just start, just do it on your phone, right? Oh, are you gonna ask? <laughs> That's okay. It's, it's zero five. <laughs> Wait, what was that again? <laughs> 911. Oh, you know it. Come on. All right. <laughs> so this is a little silly. I really just wanted to put this up as an intro. Um, and again, really the reason why I'm here uh, is because of myself just being super insanely vulnerable on Facebook, on Instagram. And when I started them, I actually wanna do something a little bit interactive with you. Who has Instagram here in the room right now? Can you do me a favor? I know normally phones aren't to be taken out during classes, but can you take out your phone and go onto Instagram? 
you don't have to follow me, I'm not, it's not that kind of call to action, but I want you to see what kind of engagement it did create in December, which is when I started them. Thanks. Oh, and my Instagram is just my first and last name, which is Margaret Miranda. I do, but I actually want you to see, I pulled some of the older videos that were archived in my stories um, from December. And when I started them, I just thought, okay, here we go. I thought for about two months, I said to myself, oh my goodness, I'm gonna start it today. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna start it today and I'm gonna do this topic and I'm gonna do this. I started on December 1st, I'm just asking like, what you look most forward to for the holiday season. And I'll tell you that when I posted them, you guys can, are you on there? Yep. I don't mean for you to just scroll through the photos. I, that's not what I'm intending for. Um, <laughs> so on the main page, you see that there's a row of highlights, right? Um, we can, of course, have a class that goes further into Instagram, into highlights, viewers, um, how to then generate leads and then contact your potential database through those viewers. But if you click that very first one, you may have your volume up. It may be something in which is distracting to the class. But again, this is a little bit more interactive. There's not very many of us in here, so I don't think it'll be that much of a problem. Okay. So how long are the videos? So um, they're all a little bit different depending on each platform. So for the stories um, in Instagram, they're 15 seconds per, per slide. Uh, in Facebook, they're 20 seconds per slide. And then um, when you're posting them on Instagram, they're a minute each. But what's nice again is you can have the multi-image or multi-video function where it would be a minute, a minute, a minute. But when I started those, I actually saved them in there, is I started them with the title of Minute with Mark. Because what we all have come to find, right, especially in this industry, not only is time something in which is of the essence, um, we also don't have a ton of it. Uh, our attention spans are also fairly short. I can say that uh, first, yeah. And so, and so I made them a minute long and I didn't realize the kind of engagement that it was going to create. Um, but I will tell you this, when I began to call on agents, when I began to meet uh, top successful agents in our industry that so happen, some of them so happen to be here at our brokerage or on that list of you know top 10 or top 20, top 50. So many of them, to my surprise, said, oh, I, I know you. I'm like, how would you know me? You know, why, why me? I am, I'm green, I'm, I'd like to say I'm no one, right? Um, but that's what it does, is it lets people in to your space, into your life, into who you are, and what you bring to this marketplace as an agent. You want to be looked at as a community specialist, right? Or who's farming in this room right now? Or who I'm, wants to I'm begin farming? Starting. Okay, wonderful. And what are you doing right now to farm your neighborhood? Talking to neighbors. Okay. Organically? Buyers, organically. Mm -hmm. Are you sending out mailers? Are you yes, layering? Also, also, also. Awesome. Yes. And I think what's nice too is that if in fact you wanted to pull, say, email addresses, right, for that farm, mm -hmm. you can then plug that into targeted ads for Facebook and make personalized videos for that specific farm. Now, how much more likely is that neighborhood to reach out to yourself if in fact they were looking to sell or purchase a home, right? You're just staying top of mind. I know a lot of this sounds so simple, but it is simple, and I think just the most difficult part of it is just to do it and the comfort factor. Because none of us really wanna be looked at as uh, human. No one really wants to be seen as having made a mistake or having flyaways or having, you know, being uh, whatever maybe stuttering in videos. But that is what I love so much is that with these videos, as quick as they are to put online, it's a beautiful thing because guess what? Guess who your consumer is? Can you tell me who your consumer is? They're human too. <laughs> so the amazing thing is that now they see you as a real person. They don't just see you as a brand or just as a business. Yes, Anthony? When you do, and I'm still happy to talk about branding and, and marketing your farm and stuff like mm -hmm. that. 
if, if you do like your Facebook live videos and people are commenting, mm -hmm. will that help with the analytics and uh, like them to see more of your posts and all that stuff? Absolutely. Because they viewed your Facebook live, your video on there then? Absolutely. Okay. So what's nice, right, is that there are such things as pre-recorded videos, there are editing apps, which I'll show a little bit later on, but I'll tell you that the easiest and most time and cost efficient way to put out your face, your brand as an agent, um, as a marketing company, whatever that may be, is to do Facebook Live. It's scary. It's what? Facebook Live. The engagement is, I believe actually the statistic is 12%, 1200% uh, more engagement and more views. And here's the thing, <coughs> is that so often people will mistake these videos for some, being something as self-serving, right? Something that's just, oh, it's just me. But you are you, you are the CEO of your brand. Are you not? Are you not? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are. No? Mm -hmm. You are, right? <laughs> so you want, you want for everyone in your database, you want even for your family members and your friends to know you for you. And the great thing is that there are so many different ideas as an agent that you can really begin to implement as far as your open houses or when you're walking through that neighborhood, right? Go ahead and show and maybe try to even interview school officials because what everyone is looking for is information on that neighborhood. Should I move there? Should I sell? Where should I go? What are the differences? Sorry. I'm gonna pull this. So um, a little bit of our agenda today. We're good on time. Oops. Oh, go back. Sorry. Yeah, and now we'll all just save the stats when it comes to that one. So we talked quite a bit really about the importance of face-to-face -face marketing in a digital age, which I have statistics on the next slide, which seem to be a little bit convoluted, so I will go ahead and just verbally tell you them. Um, second is really the overcoming the fear of video and gaining confidence with practice. That I know is so simple, but I will tell you that whenever I meet with agents or whenever any agents will reach out to me, it'll seem as though what they're most interested in are the tools in which to edit those videos. But 70% of our time is just going through them, right? It's just actually doing them. And then when we do them, it's, oh, no, 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 stop that, stop that. Let's, let's go back and let's, let's pre-record, let's re-record. And so what's incredible is that not only allows for myself to be an accountability partner for you as we're practicing, but it creates, again, just the comfort levels. It creates just that much more practice and confidence as you do them because no one's gonna just be automatically a, a rock star, I don't think, when it comes to videos. I, uh, I, I went to broadcast journalism school, <laughs> right, uh, here in Phoenix. And I will tell you that even as I started to do them, I thought, wow, what am I doing, what am I saying? Who's gonna listen to these? And now they generate, I'm not even targeting, I'm not spending any dollars on them. And I would say there's been just thousands and thousands of views that have come, have been accumulated, right? Through stories. Who's using Instagram or Facebook stories right now? How are you liking those? Are you seeing the number of viewers go up the more you post or the more often you post? Yes. Just hard to stay consistent on it. I think that that's what it is, right? And I, I said this uh, actually in a post just recently and I had heard it on my daily dose <laughs> is that consistency really is a new currency. And I think so often, and uh, I am a true, I'm truly guilty of this, where I thought to myself, you know what, in December, I'm gonna do a video every single day. How busy are you all in December? Not in regards to work necessarily, but just with life and holidays and family in town, right? You think, okay, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a video 31 days in a row. Yeah, no, that, that didn't happen. But that is okay because guess what? They are still being put out. And there are definitely apps in which you can utilize to make sure that they do go out, right? So how much time do you think that you would need, Craig, in order to just put out a video? Like right now. Yes? I've yeah. seen the stories on Facebook, yeah. but I've never really kind of figured out where you go to add. Mm -hmm. A story. I can help you with that. We can okay. speak a little bit after class, and I can definitely okay, help so. you and, and add stories. And what's you know great too, right? Because, because Facebook now owns Instagram. I will say that Instagram stories are a lot more prevalent on Instagram. And who here is focusing most of their digital marketing and branding on Facebook? 
more so Facebook or more so Instagram? Who do you think the majority of your buyers are for say in your listings or your or your buyer clients? Do you think they're more so on Facebook or do you think that a lot of them well, are millennials? Well, I think millennial the buyers? millennials are avoiding or deserting Facebook. Yeah. Really yeah. Instagram. So that will say another thing, right? I, I actually I had done a poll um, two weeks ago of where um, of where any viewers, followers, friends, family, where they prefer to be. And it's Instagram. Crazy. And I know you're probably thinking, oh, it's because you're a millennial. It's because you're young, right? It's totally not. <laughs> I exactly. was, I, that's, I think that that's the most common misconception when it comes mm -hmm. to either when it's meeting with agents or when I'm speaking with them or I'm here in person, you know, talking to you about doing videos in, in class, is that so oftentimes, everyone will kind of turn to me and say, oh, well, you do that because you're young. I'll tell you that for about the last three years, I was probably on, I probably had my Facebook deactivated for about two and a half of those years. <laughs> I, I didn't know just the importance of it, and as I come to learn, and that's really the best part about it, is that our algorithms, our social media platforms, our marketing tactics and scheme, schemes, strategies are really changing every single day, but you have to go with the flow. We have to go where people are, and the beautiful thing is it costs a lot less than traditional marketing. So, um, I, I mean, I've run ads on both and I get zero response on Instagram for ads. People are, mm -hmm. people, I mean, if you compare Google ads, yeah. people are actually looking for a house. Yeah. Facebook ads, you're interrupting them going through Facebook, yeah. but sometimes they'll look at it. Instagram, they could give care. They're yeah. not clicking on yeah. housing. They don't care about housing. Mm -hmm. So that's the problem with Instagram is, I think my life is kind of boring to millennials, so I so putting a story out on a regular basis to me, I, I don't have any content because people don't care about the top three ways to get your house ready to sell. Mm -hmm. They don't care about that on Instagram, I don't think. So if I can ask you this too, because as we talk about, I need to get a puppy. I'm not getting them any more kids, but grandkids maybe someday. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> I hear you. I, I think the same thing. I don't have kids. I'm like, man, if I had kids, I'd yeah. be able to put that on there. People would like it more. But honestly, here's the thing is that just getting a better sense of who you are is going to have more of your consumers, more of your neighborhood think you think of you as top of mind when it comes to selling a home if you're putting out that content. Yes, Anthony. The other thing with Instagram that's working when you're doing your, you know, your stories is the Instagram polls. Yes. Uh, yeah. Do that later, but yeah. That is really huge right now. Get Instagram polls, and you can search through and see which ones have commented yes or no, or different things like that. And mm -hmm. that's something that. Um, we can send you information on Absolutely. Instagram polls. Yes, yes, I yes. Use it we just, I just sent it out to yeah. our team this week. Mm -hmm. yeah. Four or five things to do on Instagram polls, and they work for the top eight in the Valley. So that's something different to try out there. Yeah. So how long, and as we talk about consistency, how long have you been putting those videos out, or how many stories have you put? How often are you putting out stories? I, I'm not doing a lot of stories on yeah. Instagram. I yeah. just, and really, it's been... Two months ago, I didn't even know how to do it. So yeah. I'm just kind of trying to figure out how to do it and how long the videos can be. And, yeah. You know. Yeah. I think I think that really what holds all of us back, and again, myself included, I'm right there with you when it comes to figuring out these videos, figuring out what works. That's the beauty of it: is everything is going to work fairly different for everybody, right? And every single social media platform is to be used and to be looked at differently because the way in which people look at content on Facebook as opposed to Instagram is completely different. Completely different. Um, you can, I would say I would encourage you to continue using Instagram and using different features that we have talked about as far as polls or your stories because the more often that you do stories, the more, you know when you open up uh, Instagram, there's a couple of faces that you'll probably see most regularly. That's because they're posting most often. Doesn't mean you have to post every 15 minutes, but if you're consistent in that, Chris, I will say you're you're on my like top three, top five all the time because Chris is constantly posting. And I know us so often, so many of us, so many of us will think that our lives are boring. I think my life is pretty boring. I know you probably gonna say no, it's not, but it is. But so long as you're posting about your life or posting about your listings or posting about this neighborhood in which you love or the difference between this neighborhood and that neighborhood or specific cafes or restaurants or community leaders. I think that that's really what it is, is just doing it. And what's important to your buyer, right? What's important to your seller? 
and to be putting that out because what that does is it allows for everyone to see just how much value and how much more effort you're putting into the marketing. Yes. But then it comes to the strategy because it's Facebook has a completely different strategy, advertising mm -hmm. on Facebook, than advertising on Instagram. Mm -hmm. On Facebook, everything disappears after 24 hours, and Instagram, it stays there forever, so it could be searched. There are a lot of advantages, but first of all, we have to know that we have to learn uh, the, the difference between, and then we have to have marketing strategies. Yeah. If we don't have the right one, this is what will happen, no response. Yeah. But I so, know people who are really, talking Instagram only, they're getting a lot of leads Instagram, I don't know how do they do it. Mm -hmm. I think that that actually, what you had just said actually reminds me a lot of the conversations that I think we all have in this industry, is what CRM are you using? What CRM do you think works for so-and-so? What do you think is going to generate leads? What do you think? But I think the best thing about it is just to dive in. I really do. I, and I say strategies, and I had mentioned that actually on the flyer, right? But when I think of strategies, I don't think of times or schedules, although there are definitely statistics in which we'll of course back that up. What I think is the best strategy is just one to do it and to be yourself. I know that sounds very simple, that sounds very maybe Oprah of me, but that is what I truly find the most important thing, is doing it. But, okay, as far as Instagram, you said that they you want to know what to put on there as opposed to what's put on Facebook? Do I need to advertise to talk about myself on Instagram, putting pictures of myself or my life to promote yeah. myself, or I should promote certain idea, mm -hmm. certain neighborhood, certain service, mm -hmm. or, uh, and this is the strategy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, what I end up doing a lot, and I don't know if this will help you, but I call it house porn. You know, I'll go to like a, a Mm -hmm. uh, a tour, a home tour, and I'll just take pictures of great bathrooms mm -hmm. and great kitchens and great pools. And you know, you go on a home tour, you take a whole bunch of pictures. Yeah. You've got enough content to last you a month. Yes. Uh, sorry, password. It's very true. And are you putting those in your stories? Are you posting them on your feed? I have not, but I've been putting them on Facebook. And yeah. I've been putting them on my Instagram. Yeah. Right. Um, you know, I was doing a lot of. Um, videos for my last job, but I just started doing them for real estate, yeah. and I mean, I've kind of gotten to the point where I've gotten over how I look, or, you know, yeah. I, don't even, I, I do them at the dog park, I literally do them at the dog yes. park, I've got my ball cap, I don't have any makeup on, yep. and I just talk real estate for a few minutes. Yeah. So here's, here's the challenge. Yeah, I love this. I, by the way, I champion this as far as it's becoming a conversation, that's what I love. This is, this is actually what I intended. So here's the challenge. Mm -hmm. I'm not a broker. Yeah. The broker's down there a little bit. Yeah. You, you need to have branding. If you're talking about real estate and you're yes. posting real estate photos, yeah. you need to have branding. Yep. So Facebook Live, you can't put the branding on like you can in a video that you create yeah. and put branding on. There are a couple different options, actually. Okay. So there's, um, you can go on to, actually there's a couple different options that actually Colby's here and she's phenomenal with personal branding. Uh, and so, I'm talking about broker branding. I'm talking about the broker's name, the e equal opportunity, yeah, sign, yeah. and the phone number. Have to be on everything yeah, that you're talking about. Well, 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 I, well, 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 I was like, let's pull in. I understand, so long as that stuff is somewhere on your Facebook account, yeah. you don't need to do it on every single post. Yeah, that's, that, that's, that's, I'm, I'm with you on that one. That's why we're just talking about it. That's a broker question, but I'm with you on that one. That as long as it's connected to you somewhere, mm -hmm. your right. whatever if social media, your profile somewhere. Yeah. Your it's profile somewhere. Often dominant, I was told. If, if it's ads, sponsored ads, yes. Oh. Uh, if it's yeah. just your story, 24 hours though. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 like, you, how many agents you see out there actually? And I highly recommend that more than doing a big production, yeah. they do their open house and they're walking through their open house with a Facebook Live. Right. Right. None of those people have yeah. branding yeah. or nothing yeah. on there. And there's a lot of top teams and agents that are doing that kind yeah. of thing. So yeah. I haven't seen, and you know, I could be wrong by happening out today because I've said this, I haven't seen one person get fired. Yeah. Mark just walked by, I think he's, he's going to start finding everybody. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but thank you for... Yeah. No, thank you for... For so I'm that comfortable up. With it if I put it on my business page because yeah. I've got the branding on my header, but mm -hmm. I'm not putting my home group on my personal page. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. and so if you do Facebook Live from your personal page, which is where most of your people are, 
then how do you frame that? That's so I think actually I want to go back to that. Is is my home group nowhere on your personal page? Well, it's over in that I work at my home group, but there's no place to put I, an I equal think opportunity that house. Be more of a broker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or my home group to make a filter. <laughs> Yeah. Totally. Yeah. You can do that, or you can have it be, and we can, I mean, we can have further conversation about this with Mark and uh, Larry and Jeremy, but, you know, I, there's also a couple of different apps that are usable and that you can actually download today. Um, there's Facebook Creator, which is incredible. You can see, actually, the, the times in which people are viewing your videos. You can go ahead and create filters. You can go ahead and add your logo and your branding. If you don't want to figure all that out, there's actually, um, it's BeLive.com. BeLive? Uh, BeLive. That's super easy and free. Um, and that you can actually place your logo, whether that's for yourself, Craig, or you can place my home group's logo if you feel much more comfortable with that. But I think it's definitely something which you would probably ask, right? And then you can also have your name at the very bottom. Um, okay, so let's go back to this as far as like strategies when it comes to mm -hmm. Instagram. Honestly, I think about I think about this quite a bit, right? Like, how much should I put of my own life? How much should I put of work? I think it's going to be a little bit different for everyone, but I will say that when you put more of who you are and what your life consists of and what you stand for and just who you're with, where you are, that creates so much engagement. Engagement is the name of the game when it comes to Facebook. That's the name of the game when it comes to advertising now because it's not about just how many how just how many dollars you're putting into every single ad because as much as 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 beneficial as facebook ads are right and targeting i think you're going to see a lot more engagement if you see someone who's posting just about themselves and their family whether it's well it, or not. but i have to get that people that know you know the other people the, the ads get you to the other people the ads aren't getting i'm not yeah. trying to ask people that know me i'm trying to ask people that know me Absolutely, absolutely. And so, how is that going for you now? I mean, are there are there you know strategies that you're using for that? Are you getting say email lists in which the yeah, I think I'm getting provide? fairly decent at it. Yeah, yeah. And now they're changing their rules, so mm -hmm. it's like yeah. yeah. <laughs> they always. I've, I've spent lots of dollars and lots of time getting pretty mm -hmm. decent at being able to get lead ads, mm -hmm. and and now they're taking away a lot of my targeting options. And you're you know the third person I've heard say. Yeah. And you know what's? Yeah, you might just have to hit something. Oh, it's on. I know. <laughs> I'm like, well, we know here. actually, as we think about, I was we, just looking. I wasn't expecting. Were so, your ears ringing? <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna get an opinion while you're here. <laughs> yeah, why not, Greg? What opinion? So if you do a Facebook Live on your personal page, so your personal page only says I work I work at my home group over here. So a Facebook Live. Do we have to have a filter on it that says my own group and the phone number? Because I, I mean, I if I do it on my business page, I have it in my header because it's all. I mean, like when you're going live doing a video, <laughs> it's a fine line. It's, I think the the answer is no because it's on someone's going to your page and your page has who as long as you have who you work for on your page. Yeah, and it's live. So it's not like a marketing video. You're like, hey, I'm here. It's like. It's a fine line. It's something for us to look into, so, but I don't. I don't really think that it's necessary. Let's, let's, just, let's just say that you wanted to be on the safe side. If you finish your your video and you whipped out your card, you're just like, hey, let me go find a or in the description of the video just put my home group real estate you're covered but it doesn't have to be in the picture. so if you can't put the logo in I mean, the equal housing thing can you just you just in the in the topics just put equal housing lender out there you keep well, so your card right. well, well your again, card then does, you're yeah. getting into again this, uh, this, this, is, this isn't like, like a my own own <laughs> that's why yeah. i waved yeah. you yeah. in yeah. so let you no, know where smart but. so for the <laughs> video in the description is where you want to change anything and add stuff there yeah. um uh, hey John. <laughs> <laughs> Larry. Hey, everybody come in. I'm sorry to interrupt your class, man. I have just put hashtag my own So I don't know. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. It says on my page that I work so. As I said, that's correct. So you don't have to have equal housing, it's not required. 
but you have to announce you're with my home group or have it in the description. You should say, hi, 